Hi guys, I hope you are well. I recently uploaded a patch 2.4 testing video, but I also want to cover this separate topic about the enhanced damage duel bug in D2R. Some of you may know about this bug from back in the Lord of Destruction days, but I want to wait until patch 2.4 was released before making this video, just in case Blizzard patched it out in 2.4. If you don't know what this bug is, particularly if you're looking to make yourself a really high-end Bolzon circlet using expensive jewels, you'll most definitely want to stick around and watch this video. So basically, the enhanced damage jewel bug is where one or more enhanced damage jewels with an extra damage mod socketed into a non-weapon gives you less damage than what it should. This bug affects one or more jewels with the following attributes. Enhanced damage together with maximum damage and or minimum damage. These attributes can be on the same jewel or collectively mixed together over two or more jewels for this bug to take effect. This bug also affects items that have inbuilt plus damage attributes on them, such as Dust Deep. For example, if I stick an enhanced damage jewel into Dust Deep, this bug will take effect and your damage will be lower than it should otherwise normally be. Anyway, the best way to show this bug is by jumping straight into this video, so here we go. What I will show you are a series of item tests socketing individual jewels into various equipment. These are being shown on screen right now. The Amazon shown also has 200 dexterity and is not using any other damage adders other than what the video will show you. After each jewel is socketed, I will show you the character screen to show how the damage has changed and then compare these numbers shown against what damage numbers we should be expecting. So as you can see, the Grand Majin Bow passed on all tests. 
Given that the enhanced damage bug only affects non-weapons, we weren't expecting to see any issues come up in the damage numbers shown. With the Storm Shield this time, we saw that any jewel that had both enhanced damage and either min or max damage, the damage numbers were not correct. Specifically, the ED max damage jewel inserted showed a max damage value smaller than what it should have been. The ED min damage jewel inserted shows a min damage value smaller than what it should have been. And the ED min and max damage jewel inserted showed both min and max damage values smaller than what they should have been.
The Archon plate tests, similar to the Storm Shield tests, had failed tests with the ED and min or max damage duels. We now know that this bug affects body armors as well as shields and also still takes effect even after multiple duels have been socketed into an item. After testing with mixed assorted jewels socketed into an Archon plate, we have just now found out the damage numbers stay correct even after inserting an enhanced damage jewel and then one or more jewels with either min or max damage. The bug finally presents the moment when we socket an enhanced damage jewel after either a min or max damage jewel has been socketed. And interestingly, if an item has jewels with min and max damage socketed already, and then another enhanced damage jewel is inserted after that, we don't see any damage increase at all. After a single plane enhanced damage jewel is inserted into a tiara with inbuilt min damage, we already see the bug taking effect. This shows that this bug takes effect not only on jewels with both damage types, but also items that provide min or max damage as well. That same enhanced damage duel from the previous tiara test socketed into an Archon plate instead of a tiara doesn't trigger the bug. That's because the tiara has min damage on it but the Archon plate doesn't, 
so the bug doesn't get triggered this time. So based on all of our testing, we have learnt that the bug takes effect when either a jewel with both enhanced damage and plus min or max damage on it gets socketed into a non-weapon, or a jewel with enhanced damage on it is socketed into a non-weapon that already has min or max damage on it. So what's actually happening here? Socketing an enhanced damage jewel into a non-weapon that has maximum damage on it will make the enhanced damage from your jewel only apply to your minimum damage. Socketing an enhanced damage jewel into a non-weapon that has minimum damage on it will make the enhanced damage from your jewel only apply to your maximum damage. Both of these behaviours can happen at the same time on an item to make enhanced damage from your jewel not increase your damage at all. So guys, there you have it. Please use this knowledge shared here to make good socketing decisions for your highly valuable circlets and armors. Don't be that player that spends like 15 burr runes on nice jewels only to then throw them into a nice circlet and see them underperform because of this bug. I really hope Blizzard will fix this bug soon but until then please be careful. Anyway, thanks for sticking around until the end. Please share this with your friends and like the video if you found this valuable. And please subscribe and hit the notification bell to stay notified of more content like this in the future. Thanks again, and I'll see you guys in the next video.